If you've been on the internet recently, you've probably seen this. To get out of here and show you guys her room. Rise and shine. It's now known simply as the Kylie Jenner Rise and Shine meme. What originated on TikTok from a studio tour Kylie was doing of her cosmetics quickly took the internet by storm. From parodies of Kylie Jenner participating on The Voice to hilarious remixes. The internet seemed to be having fun with the meme for a couple of days. Everyone was making their own versions and liking and sharing. That was until this happened. All of a sudden, Kylie Jenner decided to release two sweaters for $65 that capitalized on her new meme fame. And these sweaters sold out pretty much instantly. And now she's actually trying to take the meme even further by trying to trademark the phrase rise and shine. And by acknowledging the joke and trying to be a part of it while also monetizing it, Kylie Jenner has effectively killed the meme. And this got me thinking, who technically deserves to make money off this meme anyways? Or memes in general? You could argue since Kylie is the focus of the video and it's derived from her own content that she should decide what she wants to do with it. But without the internet deciding to make fun of this moment, then no one probably would have ever noticed this sort of thing. It would have just came and went. It's arguable if Kylie Jenner deserves to make any sort of money off this, but the Kardashian slash Jenner family is no stranger to doing these sorts of things. Kim has made money off her infamous crying face by coming out with an entire app based around it. The Kardashians are clearly amazing at doing this sort of thing. But unfortunately, others haven't been so lucky. Remember a couple years ago when the word fleek was incredibly popular? Well, that word was first said, at least publicly, from a Viner in the summer of 2014. She's known as Peaches Monroe, or her real name, Kayla Lewis, and she invented the term fleek. We in this bitch, finna get crunk. Abraz on fleek, the fuck. Now, I know invented is a bold claim, but she's at least the first person on the internet that we know of who started saying the word. And since this video, it quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Despite it being used in movies, TV, and rap songs, you'd still never know where this word comes from. Most new slang terms are hard to determine the origin of where it exactly came from, but this one is pretty clear. Time will ultimately tell, but I think it's safe to say that the word fleek will be much bigger than Kylie Jenner singing Rise and Shine. But unfortunately, Peaches Monroe has barely seen a cent from this video. She actually wanted to start her own beauty line and tried to raise $100,000 on GoFundMe, but only managed to raise a little under 17000 A piece of content like a phrase can be incredibly difficult to properly monetize, especially when you don't know how. In order to capitalize on a meme, it needs to be instinctively you. Just look at Mason Ramsey, or better known as the Walmart Yodel Kid. Just from singing at a Walmart for 90 seconds and having it filmed, he managed to get a recording deal. But that's not just because of the video. People remixed it and, for lack of a better term, memed it thousands of different times. But what the Yodel Kid had over Peaches was his content had to do with himself, not necessarily what he was saying. And unfortunately, the fact that he was a cute kid who was white may have helped him gain mainstream appeal as well. But the fact of the matter is, maybe no one should be making money off these memes. After all, what makes a good meme is the remixing and reiterating. But what's important to know is the community will constantly make new versions of a meme, each with their own spin on it until it eventually fizzles out. That's what makes a good meme. It's not the content itself, but what the internet at large decides to do with it.